In part one of this checkbox video, I demonstrated how to quickly make mutually exclusive checkboxes, meaning that only one can be checked at a time. It was a quick way, but it was manual and it still took quite a bit of time. We developed a tool to do this automatically and premium members at pdfautomationstation.com can go ahead and start using this tool. It's also available for purchase in the online store. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this now by going into form editing mode, creating a checkbox, and naming that checkbox target. We always name it target. Next, I'll activate this check mark toolbar button here that says create check boxes or radio buttons. This will also create radio buttons. Depends on what your target field is. If it's a radio button, it'll create radio buttons. If it's a check box, it'll create check boxes. So I'll go ahead and click that and there's only one field I need to be concerned with here. It's the number of fields because I'm doing a random field name and random export values. So it looks like there's about 15 checkboxes there. So I'll type the number 15. I'll just click build. And here's all my checkboxes. I'll just start lining those up into the right place. And I'm not going to do them all for the sake of time. I will do an entire row here. I'll press Control Shift 7, exit form editing mode, just so I can test that out. And as you can see, they're mutually exclusive, meaning I can only check one at a time, even though they're check boxes. I'm going to go back to form editing mode. And actually, I'm going to delete these, create a new target field. And this time in the properties, I'm going to change some things. So you can see how this works. I'm going to change this to a cross instead of a check mark. I'm going to put some yellow fill in there. I'll put a border, even though we don't really need it. And I'll put inset. So this is what the field looks like now. Now, we don't need random field names and random export values this time. We are going to use a field name called title and we're going to use these export values. And the reason you might need that is if you're going to be exporting data to a different program or system, then you need to identify that data. So you'd use a, a name and specific export values. Maybe you're populating another form also, so you'd have to line up those field names and export values. So I'll go ahead and activate the button. This time I'm going to skip this random part and go down here. I'll type the field name in, which is title. And I'll type the export values here and I'll hit enter each time so that it uh, gives a row of values here. I can also export this, or uh, sorry, I can copy and paste this from an Excel column and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll go ahead and paste that. and I'll just click build and I'll start lining up these fields whatever properties you set in the target field will be the properties that you see when you create those fields properties like fill color border border type checkbox type etc so I'm gonna actually let's check these I'll open the properties and the name. We'll see title and I'll just go through these. And if you look, they're all called title. That's what we want. 
I'll check the export values. This one's doctor. See doctor, miss, ms, mrs, and mister. And that's exactly what we want. These will now um, check one at a time and they have the correct name, correct export values. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to use this tool, just go to pdfautomationstation.com, become a member, and start using this tool. Thanks for watching.